Hello, and welcome to the first French GCSE revision lecture, which is all about adjectives. I'm going to share my screen with you now. We're going to start learning about French adjectives. Here we go. French GCSE revision. Lesson one adjectives. Off we go. First of all, I have a list of them for you. Now, with each one, you can see there are two sorts. Why is that? Why do we have grand and grande? Because we have a masculine and a feminine version of every adjective. Now, most of these you're going to recognize. Looking down the left hand side at the moment, okay. Grand, grande, petit, petit, you know what they mean. Embêtant, embêtante. Hmm, nobody knows what that means. It's annoying. You need to know that one. It's very useful for describing your siblings. Marrant, marrant, funny. Amusant, amusant, fun. Intelligent, intéressant, they're obvious. Content, obviously, that's happy, content. Um, then we have méchant for naughty. Joli does not mean happy or jolly, it means pretty. Fort, fort, strong. Think about a fort that needs to be very strong. Indépendant is obvious. Tétu, stubborn. Again, good negative adjective for describing family members. Fatigué, most of you will know. And bavard, chatty from the verb bavarder. So if you have a look at all of these, they all just take an E for the feminine. Right, let's go on the other side of the page. Nouveau, nouvelle, new. Well, that's funny, isn't it? That go from nouveau to nouvelle. But look at beau and belle, beautiful. Goes the same way. Vieux and vieille, a similar pattern going, getting a nice double L there in the feminine. So those three are in their own little group. Sportif, that famous adjectives we need for GCSE. Don't forget if you're describing a girl or woman, sportive, paresseux, and see, all of these end in EUX and in the feminine go to EUSE. And this little group here get a double consonant, their nul goes to nul, gentille, grosse, mignonne. And finally, here's a group that don't change at all. Don't change because they've either got an E on the end already, or they're a, a um, shortened word like sympa, short for sympathique, or a compound word like casse-pied. You can see all of those. Okay, adjectives, let's learn a little bit more about them. They go after the noun. So we don't say my important friend, we say my friend important. A house blue, you're not a blue house, except in a few cases. And there are various ways of remembering these, but I quite like this one. Grand, petit, joli, beau, vieux, jeune, nouveau, bon, mauvais, gros. There's a little bit of a rhyme going on there, so you can try that. As I said, they agree. Il est grand, elle est grande, elles sont grandes. They don't agree after the word c'est. That's funny. So if you could say here, j'aime ma belle maison. I love my beautiful house with a lovely agreement there. Beau oh, belle. Once I say c'est, it is, then I'm, my adjective is always going to be masculine. It's a good thing to remember. Some adjectives don't agree at all. We've covered that. And if you're negative, just put ne pas around the verb. So instead of je suis grande, je ne suis pas grande. Don't forget that's good. Also, a few extra things you can do to your adjectives. You can compare things to other things. More than, less than. Je suis plus sportive que mon frère. I am more sportive than my brother. Il est moins courageux que moi. He is less brave than me. And we can use qualifiers. Very, quite so, a bit, extremely, sometimes, always. Très, assez. Tellement, un peu, extrêmement, parfois, and toujours. Don't forget to use those. Let's see if you can understand this. Je suis grand, sportif, intelligent, et parfois très marrant. Mais mon frère est ennuyeux, paresseux et timide. Il n'est jamais sympa, et il est toujours embêtant. Ma sœur est assez bavarde et sportive. Mais elle est tellement têtue. I'm tall, sporty, clever, and sometimes very funny, but my brother is annoying, lazy, and shy. He's never nice, and he's always annoying. Oh, two words for annoying, ennuyeux and embêtant. The first one should have been boring. Uh, this one, sorry about that. Ennuyeux is boring. Sorry about that. 
Um, my sister is ch quite chatty and sporty. That's assez bavardé sportif, mais elle, elle est tellement têtue. She is so stubborn. So that's a bit more of an in interesting description than just saying somebody is tall and sporty. Yeah, we can just do a lot more with our adjectives there. Right, possessive adjectives. Now, these are a nightmare in French because instead of saying my house, my brother, my parents, as we do use the same word for whatever we're describing in English, we've got to change that word according to the thing that we own. So like other adjectives, these possessive ones agree with the noun that they're describing. So mon chien, my dog, ma maison, my house, and mes parents, my parents, three different words for my, and it follows with your. So tonta and te, here are the examples. Your dog, ton chien. Your house, ta maison, and your parents, tes parents. And his or her is son, sa, and se. So son chien means his dog or her dog. Sa maison, his house or her house. Ses parents, his parents or her parents. So we do have a job on our hands and this can cause confusion, but usually through the context, you know what people are talking about. Now, when we move down here, with our and your plural version and their, it's a bit different because there aren't three versions like there are with my, your and his, her. There's just two versions because if it, whether it's dog or house, whether it's a masculine or feminine word, it's still going to be notre. It's only going to change when it's no. Same with your, votre chien, votre maison. We're not changing the votre when it goes feminine. But vos parents, we do in the plural. And the same with their. Leur chien, their dog, leur maison doesn't change, even though it's feminine. And leur parent does when it's plural. Right, what have we learned today? Adjectives in French agree, mostly, because there were a group that didn't, the ones with these on the end, and the ones that were compound words or abbreviations. And they agree with the noun they describe. They agree in different ways. Don't forget we had an E. We had the VE on sportive. We had UX going to us. We had double LE on gentil and things like that. We had the group like nouveau and beau and vieux that were going quite complicated like belle, vieille, nouvelle. So we can't rely on one way of making an adjective agree. They need to be learned. They come after the noun. Like we say, my friend important, not my important friend, but there are some that come before and you're going to have to remember that little tune. Grand, petit, joli, beau, je, vieux, jeune, nouveau, bon, mauvais, gros, if you can. And possessive adjectives, that was the last thing we did, also agree with the noun they describe which means that when you say my parents, it's different from my house or my dog. And the same with all of the others, apart from plural ones, which don't distinguish between masculine and feminine. Okay, there will be a worksheet to go with this. So please do get in touch if you have any questions. Watch the video again to make sure you fully understood it all. And I'll see you soon for the next lecture. Thank you.